Welcome back to the channel everyone, this is No Dust here and we are going to do some more System Shock 2 today. Uh, we are on part 9, Cyborg Assassin, so let's hop into game. And uh, let me just play a recent audio log, just to see. So we've got to fix the, we've got to fix the sim units. Inside of this door lies one of the sim units. Reprogram it, and I will rest more control of this ship. The individual is obsolete. The new and your plan is still master of this ship. I can open all the doors for you. But for now, they block my access. They mock my eminence. Make them pay for that mistake, and I will shepherd you from the darkness. So we have just run into uh, when well, sysadmin. Okay, um, so there is a red cyborg assassin. I remember last clip we left off. There was a red, red cyborg assassin lurking around here. Okay, not that. Not hybrid, um, but there is a, there was a red cyborg assassin uh, wandering around, and it ran off somewhere. And I'm going to want to track it down. Okay, so this has led me back to uh, the landing area, and this is actually a good chance for me to go and pick up some resources. So last uh, last video, I picked up a audio log from Bronson that talked about weapons lockup, and this is a good chance for me to go to weapons lockup and pick it up since we are relatively close to the ladder and I will Yours. this also gives me a good chance to spend some of my nanites on a cheaper replicator down here here we are yep so let's see what we can buy Hi there. Uh, there are Please no Psy Hypers, the Med Hypers are 25 the tools I'll save my nanites for the Psy Hypers given that I can um, use them for healing in the future and I will drop off the iridium in the in the chemical warehouse in the chemical storage on this level oh that was a pretty good pickup six six slug rounds and some shoddy rounds so we'll leave the iridium here don't really want to lug that around now <clears throat> let's consult our map and find the I believe that the uh, cryo retraining facility. I don't think that's it. That's where I was previously. I think it's in the the R and D sector or in the crew quarters. I do believe it's in the crew quarters. So let's head to the crew quarters. I don't quite remember. So we may actually have to do some uh, poking around here to figure out. Yeah, the medical. Yeah, the crew quarters. I do believe that the uh, weapon storage is around here somewhere so let's check our map again yeah so if i turn right i believe it's here weapon storage i do believe it's here and i do hear a monkey so let's get out let's see what we can find in our replica there are side it's 93 i will um hack this to get a better price hi there Please make your selection. Hi there. Replicator okay, so database reinitialized. Let's note that down here. Place a nav beacon here. Hi, hi, pose. Although I probably won't be revisiting this area too often, but it's quite useful. Please make your selection. Blow our wad on the side, hi, pose. Because I can use them for a number of things. And uh, having uh, blown our wad on the side, hi, pose. Let's take one up. So it restores 20. I believe that is an, as, as a result of the difficulty level. So on hard, Psy Hypo's 20 Psy. I think previously I was under the impression that it was 30, but now that we can confirm that it's 20, I'll put that, I'll put that in the show notes. I'll just confirm that in the show notes. Uh, you can look below in the description if you need to. And yes, we have come to weapons locked up. Now we're just going to have to look in uh, operations logs for Bronson. 
No, that's not it. I hacked into two of the sim units yet. No shirkers? Here we are, no shirkers. I feel you men aren't as dedicated to the mission as you need to be. You will do your duty. The traders and ops have still been unable to get the sim unit back online. If the situation is not remedied by 0600, we shall recon in force and ensure its remedy. I feel you men aren't as dedicated to the mission as you need to be. I guess this is me. Do your duty. No, it's not. Oh my gosh. Still okay. been unable to get the sim unit back online. If the situation is not remedied by 0600, we shall recon in force and ensure its remedy. I've changed the weapon's lockup code to 13433. Fallen at 0500. Anything that gets in your way, human or not, kill without pause or remorse. Okay, so I'm a, I, I have to admit I made a mistake there. Um, so she's not referring to the weapons lockup. Just, there's probably a weapons lockup on deck four, but that door does have a code, and I do believe we get that code uh, at some point. If I have not already gotten that code at some point, but um, I guess now is not the time to dig through our. Ooh, okay. Dig through our um, audio logs. So that's okay. At least I came down and I put some things away. I would like to recharge, actually. Never mind. Let's just head to ops and resume. So I think I was in bulkhead 44. Yeah, sysadmin. We were in sysadmin. And this door, yep. So this door did open. It was sort of like a one way door. And let's resume. Let's see if there are any uh, recharge stations. What's the S stand for? Security computer. That's a replicator. And there's a little uh, lightning bolt. It's the recharge station. So we will not have access to that for just yet. Let's have it explore down here. I do believe there will be another sim unit down here. I mean, it is sysadmin, so. I would be surprised if there wasn't. Let's have a look. Another pistol, nice. Mod level zero, so I will leave it here. Um, in very good condition, but um, I have a reasonable number of reasonable number of repair kits. Okay. So we will just clean out this bottom floor. Is that what I think it is? Good thing I'm glad I spotted that. And another log from Siddons. I'm trying to get up to find you, Tommy. Oh crap. But I can't. I'm stuck in ops. There's some kind of civil war going on here. The security forces came in and now don't freak out. But I'm hurt. But not too bad. I managed to pull together a supply of med kits and a few other goodies. Some of it looks valuable, but I'm not sure what it is. Maybe some kind of military grade impact. I left the stuff I didn't need in a corner of the data library, out of the way in case I need it later. I'm on my way. I promise you, I will not die. I will not die. You do the same, my love. Yours. Data library. Corner of the data library. There are some resources in the corner of the data library. I'm assuming it's near here somewhere. It looks like Rebecca's picked up some some of her own cybernetic modifications. Maybe we'll bump into her in the future. Okay, I'm hearing nonsense again. Hearing nonsense again. Where are you? Where are you? Let's stay out in the open areas. There we are. I think this is this is Xerxes. What and Rebecca was referring to. Ooh. There will be a poetry reading by Protocol Unit T eight nine two slash two in the deck five commons area. Please bring any authorized material that you wish to be read by T eight nine two slash two. Poetry reading by computers. Interesting. Now, I've yet to go into this space. I wonder if we can get in there, if that's just for show. Modify software upgraded, nice. 
Oh, there it is, there it is. I didn't think that would work, but... You know, it just goes to show, even an old game like System Shock can surprise you with its attention to detail. Because this thing is not on the map. Um, I think it goes to the inset. Let me see if I can hop down. Anyway, I think I, that was the red assassin that I was after. So let's hop down and loot its corpse. If you can even call it that. A quantum sim chip. Yep. So I can actually go back to... So I can actually go back to uh, Bulkhead 42, I believe. So 41 has the corpse of Polito. Um, 42 has the quantum sim chip. So let us do that quickly and uh, take that one offline post haste. Now I would also really like to get a recharge going, but I do think there is a recharge on the way to Bulkhead 42. And now we have... Now we have stuff that I need to burn. Especially these melee, melee enemies are quite useful to have the burn on for them. Unresearched. Okay, we may have to hit up the manifest again, the chemical storage. Needed IR. Man, I just dropped IR off it. I think there's a second slot of IR in, in 42 though, so let's head over to 42 quickly. Forty-two. Yep, and there is a chemicals uh, storage unit. Whoa. Okay. Okay. Not a fan of the fireball hurling monkey. That did a way more damage than I was expecting it to. But I, mean, I guess you know, being on hard mode should not have surprised me. Now I would. I am considering picking up another point in strength just to unlock some more carrying capacity. Otherwise, I wouldn't mind some more maintain. I wouldn't mind some more. So I did find out last time that I'm um, putting more points into energy. Uh, it doesn't actually increase the capacity, I don't believe. It um, increases the amount of damage inflicted. Are there any other size skills that I may want? Mm, hypnogenesis. Projected pyrokinesis can be really useful. So I may actually want to go for tier three Psy with some with uh, those fireballs. So I can start hurling those fireballs uh, much like that monkey was to me. Now I need 41, and then I need an, a, a further 11. So I think I might save for that. Since we're in a fairly good position with regards to other resources, I think it may be worthwhile to save for that. Now let's look for the chemical. There's a recharge station here. Quantum sim unit is here as I've marked out. I don't think the chemical's in the, um, in a, in a further, in a further space. So, didn't notice that just shy of reaching this entanglement sampler or person. Okay, let's go recharge and take at least the first of the sim units offline. Now, given that I have fairly high strength, my, my wrench is going to be doing a lot of work too, but um, I am hesitant. I am hesitant to use it too much since most of the enemies here will deal. Hi there. So this, it costs the same here. Let me put another marker here. Psy hypo, Psy hypos. Yep. So I'm gonna put another marker here just in case I need to get back here and uh, get my hands on some Psy hypos. And uh, quantum sim unit is back and then to the right. Let's go. Okay. Now I hope it doesn't summon, say, like a. S oh, okay. There we go. I hope it doesn't summon a swarm of. Uh, enemies but uh, you know these things it's got to be done at some point sim chip required here it is overridden do i have 51 now not quite not quite okay now we head into the next bulkhead um i think 44 is actually the one with the chemical storage but heading in from this direction so, whoa okay nice of you just spawned in exactly where i spawned in wow 13 shotgun shells. Getting very lucky this run. And chemical storage, we pick up the remaining IR. And that will come in useful uh, once my software tells me to apply the IR. Okay. 
So where are we headed now? It looks like we're going to be headed back there and headed to uh, Bulkhead 43 because it looks like I've, I've seen most of this floor. So we'll just be rushing through here um, unless there's something that I've missed. Okay, okay. I don't really want to melee this guy. Let's switch to pellet because these things are quite tanky. And I do believe pellet does more damage um, to anti-personnel, yeah. Uh, not many organics, the best use at relatively short, short range, as the pellets tend to spread, okay? So I'll use this for, I'll use number, I don't, I don't want to repair this thing. I'll use my five for killing, uh, mechanical targets, and I'll use my three for killing, uh, organic targets. Working very, very well, actually. But we actually are getting a lot of um, non-pellet rounds. I wonder if I should save my pellet rounds. I've got 64 reg regular slugs. Let's switch back to the slugs. I may need those pellets for those big tanky uh, rumbler things. Because uh, we did see those when uh, Shodan was talking to us previously. Now let's pick up... Um, so does it, and is the Psy thing here? I think it's the only... Th only uh, upgrade modules here. No, they are here, they are here. So it's, there's two here and there's two behind over here. Okay, so let's pick up sign. Again, I think I need 52. So, uh, increases your max side by six. Oh, all right, let's take that for now. Um, and then I'll grab the other, I'll grab the pyrokinesis once points allow, or modules allow that is. Okay, and then we'll head back to the bulkhead. Where's 43? Here's 43. Am I hearing this again? Now I wouldn't mind getting some points in endurance as well. That's that's a, that's actually like another luxury uh, that I could afford myself. You know, just to make the game a little bit easier. Okay, system ops. System ops makes me think of. Oh my gosh! There's that grenade. Whew, lucky we got him before uh, he managed to toss that grenade and let's again very efficient to use the overcharge I mean in terms of uh, how much exp if, if I'm careful with my aiming how, how exposed I am to enemy fire and how quickly it takes these things down at the cost of at the cost of um you know, durability, obviously, but we're not too worried on that front. Okay, nothing to loot, just some cigarettes. Let's have a look around here. I would have thought there'd be more robots running around system ops, but it seems to be primarily hybrids. Now there is another repair to repair unit, so I can actually start repairing things if I need to. Now, where am I headed? I uh, probably want to head up to check before heading into this uh, power ops section. So let's head up. Let's head up this. And we suspiciously don't have any music happening. Is it? Is it just because of the, the setting, or let me? Yeah, the music is. It's on. It's just it just appears to be uh, not in the game at the moment, and. There we go. I had to vault over that. So if you ever run into that problem, you need to hold space and you can vault over certain objects to clear them. Whoa, 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 okay. Ah, flies again. Okay, let's just quickly loot this. Stasis field generator. I'll pick it up and I'll drop it um, somewhere convenient. I wonder what it does. Let's have a look at it uh, once we... Uh, clear of those pesky flies and I'll have a quick look at the description and what it... okay no not while a monkey's wandering around I, think I heard one to my left quite quite hard to see in such darkness but we got it okay and now let's have a look 
Stasis field generator. Strength of three heavy weapons of three. Um, what does it do? An experimental device, non-narcotic method to tranquilize and immobilize. Uh, the genera freezes a target. However, the stasis field uses a lot of power and greatly effect greatly decreases with distance. So it's like a it's like a freeze free it's like a freeze gun. Um. Honestly, I don't think I'll have enough points to invest into... I, ha I have enough strength, but um, putting two more points into heavy... I don't, even think, I don't even think I have one point in heavy, honestly. Combat... No, I have no points in heavy, so putting three in, three total points in heavy... Not going to be great. Bronson knows. Won't let her undo the work we've done. Mm. Why are you a surprise for her? Anybody approach Sounds like Sim Unit 3 has been booby trapped. At least from what I hear. From from Malik's helpful audio log there. Lucky we came this way. So just having scoping out the area, just making sure I'm not missing anything. Uh ex expert tech. What's expert tech? What is expert tech? Boosts your hack, repair, and modify skills by one. That's really good, actually. I could probably swap out my um, hack, repair, and modify. So hack is going to be great. Modify is going to be great. Let's take, yeah. The swift boost is nice, but um, I can actually just put a point in agility if I feel that I need the speed. But the, the passive um, bonuses to modify itself really useful um, and this is a bit of a problem I'm carrying too many bottles because let's just leave the beakers here um, I do believe this thing will also buff the amount of charge I this is Xerxes at O200 there will be a poetry reading by protocol unit G892 slash 2 in the deck 5 comments area what the please read the authorized material you wish to be read by team eight nine two slash true. Okay, that's the sim unit. Um, what sort of nonsense is going to come out? There's a laser rapier here, which I can't use. A gun, which I probably can use. Let's just I mean, at least take the rounds from. Now, this is the Interpolating. Oh crap! Okay, I'm hearing. Oh crap! It's in the pyro field. Switch to pellets. Pellets not working so well. Oh my gosh! Would have been really nice to have uh, the projected pyrokinesis before these four spiders jumped on me, and I will. Uh, chug those antitoxin hypos. Okay. But the projected pyrokinesis, I mean the, the pyro field was, was helpful. Um, wow. Okay. So. Has it asked for IR? No, it hasn't. Um, interpolated? Let's go. Excellent. With the inside the modules. Yeah, so we can definitely afford to level up uh, and get the fireball skill. This is Xerxes. At O200, there will be a and we just got one sim unit left. By protocol unit G892 slash true in the deck 5 comments area. Please bring any authorized material that you wish to be read by T892 slash true. Okay, and we can head into this direction, the Brig Command Center and Barracks area. That's probably where the final sim unit and uh, sim unit chip is. And I do have a feeling that maybe where weapons lockup is that... Bronson was referring to. So let's head in that direction. Let's loot this. Um, I'll do a quick recharge of my armor. I don't want that to run out in the middle of a firefight. A little bit risky there. Another another replicator. Please make your selection. I'm hearing.
doing these pesky spikes. Really would like to have that gland research so I can deal more damage. Because just okay. researching the gland gives Please you... Make your selection. Just researching the gland gives you plus 25% damage, I believe. Okay. We'll find out once Please it's done. Make your selection. Okay. 50, make your wow. Selection. This one's really good. This is like the winning Psy Hypo. 50 Nanite. I'll just do $50 Psy Hypos. Exclamation mark. That's really good. This is actually where I want to be buying my Psy Hypos from. 50. That's even cheaper than, um, that's even cheaper than the original. And I, I believe this is weapons lockup. 13433, three, three, I think. Yep. Whoa! Okay. Nice of her to give me a. To give me a code to weapons lockup, which unleashes. an assault mech. Let's switch to AP. There we go. At least we took it down with. without taking too much damage. Oh, there was an Iridium on it. Wow, that's interesting. I didn't think that um, you could get chemicals from the mechs, but... Assault Rifle. Now this, I won't kid you, is one of the best weapons in the game. And if I were to spend points improving it to uh, weapon... improving my standard to weapon 6, this is really, really overpowered. But... Um, you know, this is supposed to be a hybrid run, so let's 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 just leave this here. It's it's really really overpowered. If you, I mean, one of the easiest ways to play through the game is to go standard weapons, and that improves your wrench, that improves your um, pistol, that improves your shotgun. So you have a good weapon at every stage of the game. And I have been using my pistol and shotgun quite a lot. And uh, once you get to this stage, if you pump enough points, or if you ignore most of the psi abilities, if you don't pick up like things like psi healing, I could have had. Um, I could have had enough points to go to six standard weapons and this thing will take out most things. The only limitation being that you need ammo and it sort of burns through ammo. So yeah, let, let's just leave it here for now. I can come back for it, 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 it I can come back for it in weapons lockup if, if need be. Um, and I will leave my random uh, ammo for things that I don't have weapons for here as well, weapon, in weapons lockup. And uh, yeah, let's leave the swift boost here, uh, the IR, I'll leave this worm cluster thing here. Uh, side booster is not great, let's just, let's just chug it down. Prisms are probably what's used for the stasis field generator. So yeah, we go, we've cleared out a lot of junk in our, in our trunk. And I'll put a nav marker that says assault, uh, okay. Never mind. That one's a little too, it crowds the map too much. That's okay. Um, if I come back here for fifty dollar, whoa, for fifty dollar med hypos, I mean psi hypos, I can very quickly help myself to the uh, assault rifle if need be. Okay, so there are a number of things in the bar barracks here. Okay, let's have a look in the barracks. Slowly. A lot of nanites here. Okay. Not a fan. Not a fan. Oh god. You just spawned out of nowhere, didn't you? That is not cool. And you can actually Oh my gosh, that really hurts. So as the laser pistol is charging up, so you can you can actually I've just figured that out for myself just then. You can actually alternate between the laser pistol and another AP weapon to deal with big mechs like that. Uh, because the laser pistol has a significant recharge time, but the pistol itself doesn't, um, being well, that's just not how the pistol works. So, able to increase my overall DPS 
Um, you know, obviously I spend some more rounds, but I take the thing down quicker, so less likely to take a ton of damage. As of this time, I'm declaring a state of martial law on the Von Braun. All primary subsectors of the ship will be locked down and only accessible by security access cards. If anybody is found to be interfering with the normal operations of the ship or impedes the work of the security forces, they will be shot on the spot. Yeah, so just reinforcing that civil war notion, Bronson being paranoid and uh, Malik doing his uh, his thing with the sim units. I mean, she has... Oh my gosh, again. Okay, well, at least we can use our... Use our strategy to uh, effect here. Still took probably an unacceptable amount of shots from that laser uh, that laser turret. Let's use one of these healing glands. Okay, I do believe there is going to be a cyborg ninja in here. There he is, and he runs very fast. So I'm not going to chase him. I'm just going to I'm going to keep my eye out for because I'm hearing hybrids here. Phew. Okay, that was that was a little risky. I'm hearing hybrids here. I need a key for ops override. Okay. Uh, let me actually note that down here. Yeah. Apologies this is, if this slows down the pacing of the video, but um, this will just help me remember where things are when I come back and, you know. Because if there's a locked door, there's definitely going to be a key somewhere that allows you to access the locked door. No questions about it. So, hey, cool. Um, I will install this here to both A, free up um, some space, and B, this is the first ones that I've seen in a while. Oh, I need I need those worm, I need those jars. That's alright, let's just leave them as is. I wonder if I take damage stepping over, oh yeah, you, you, you take toxic. Okay, that was stupid. But um, luckily I was able to cleanse the toxin before it dealt any damage to me. Okay, some more cyber modules. There, uh, that's, that reminds me, oh my. Okay, that reminds me that I should go and uh, pick up the fireball, the quarter circle forward punch weapon, the quarter, quarter circle forward punch um, psi weapon, post haste. If we can reprogram the sim units and divert power to the transmitter on deck 5, my new friend will be able to regain control of the primary data loop from Xerxes. She, uh, it, says that will let us use the bridge element and take control of the ship. So definitely, um, the sim units will... Taking down the sim units, like Delacroix said, gives Shodan control of the ship. And, uh, I wonder if that's a good idea. You perform well for an incident. Transmitting cyber modules. Pun, pun the ominous thunderstorming in the background. Um, we are experimenting some, experiencing some inclement weather here, down in Australia. Okay, looks like this is some sort of lockup area, like for for holding prisoners and so on and so forth. Unresearched object. I wonder what this. I wonder what this, this thing does. Is there anything else in here? Okay, that's not cool. I should be checking the rooms of the other rooms as well, actually. Um, here we are. There. So, I could shoot that. Oh, I can't get in here. Okay. Now, this isn't done researching. Let's suspend it because I've got all the chemicals I need. And we will res research this. Research four? Okay. Uh, what's my research? I think my research is one. Yeah, probably not worth going to research for to have a look at this thing. Unresearched object. I'll just drop it off at a, at a, at a chemical thing storage. And I'll, I'll resume research on my... Whatever the hell that is. Okay, let's go. Okay, let's head this way. Now we've gotten the SIM chip. We just need to find the SIM unit, which I believe will be here because we seem to have scoured the rest of the... Here it is. A lot of dead people here. I wonder what happened. Uh, another laser pistol. Mod level zero, however, so I will not be using that. Uh, a repair, u repair unit will be excellent. Uh, Diego? You listen to me, you little bitch. Either you disband that little toy army or 
Rangers or some real military is gonna come down there and walk all over your Reddit cops. You can't possibly understand what our mission is here in the glory of our service. It's like Diego has gone crazy. Anyway, uh, we've got the ship. Let's do this. This is Xerxes. Primary data loop infiltrated. Primary data loop infiltrated. You have, you, you, you have accomplished much for a thing of such small consequence. Warning. Proceed to the recreation deck. Do not dawdle. I lust for my revenge. So the wreck deck. We're heading up to the next deck shortly. Um, let's let's leave this here actually. And we've already used our IR. No, we haven't. Have we? I think we already did. I don't remember. Let's hold on to it just in case. I can drop it off next level. Um, yeah, and then I want to quickly do uh, upgrades. So I do believe the up. Well, okay. This looks like I missed it. Whoa, cow! Lucky thing you killed yourself with that insane fireball to the face. Okay, so looks like this this area. I sort of missed this area as well. So there was this sort of area. Let's have a look here before we finish up. I'll, I'll have a look in this area. Brawn booster I already have. So this is just another. Um, place for the crew to stay obviously the security staff so it looks like Bronson is head of security on this vessel and Diego who was going crazy is head of security on the Rickenbacker which is the military vessel which was um, which is attached to this primary vessel the Von Braun okay speed boost just drop that somewhere or use it to, to get between areas very quickly I guess that's one of the uses for speed boost it seems a little redundant honestly because if you run too fast you may get shot in the face by uh, monkeys that do ridiculous amounts of quarter circle forward damage something in there but I want to grab my upgrades first let's grab a heal uh, some more cyber modules um, where's the side okay I will take the projected pyrokinesis uh, let's look at some of the others let's look at wow 104 that's gonna be tough um, prox proximity mine barrier uh, a non robotic uh, Drains hit points and adds those hit points. Transport to a marked location. Wow, okay. Regenerate lost hit points. Yeah, the, the teleporter seems really cool, but I'm gonna need to spend like 130 uh, invisible. That's not bad. Location detection. That's not bad. Am I hearing something? No. Location detection. Um, mobilized robotic. Enhances your endurance. Uh, Ammo and hypo into nanites. Um, hack psionically. Uh, turns your psyop into a powerful melee weapon. Uh, recharges a single charged item or weapon. That's actually not bad. I can actually charge on the fly, and I will pick that up. Uh, how many, I've got fifty-six. I, that's actually I think I will take that. Uh, make them docile. Eh, not a huge fan. Show locations. Eh. No, not toxin blocking. Immunity, um, duplication. So use some nanites to duplicate one ammo, uh, but the chance of success isn't great. I will take the electron cascade. Now, I may pick up strength five. Yeah, just to give me some more carrying capacity so I can have, I can hoard things. It, it might seem a bit wasteful, but I've already got a brawn boost. So if I take it off, I'm not at full strength. I'm not strength six, I, I, I don't, and I won't be going to strength six. Um, so we have Electron and I have Pyrokinesis. Now, let's see how effective Electron is. Pretty good. Pretty good. I think it's quite expensive though. I wasn't quite... I wasn't really watching the cost... Uh, cost of casting that. But I do feel that it's 
probably is expensive, but uh, we'll be handy in a pinch to recharge my armor most of all because the other things aren't super important. So there's just some AP bullets here. Looks like this is like a firing range. Um, the intention was, you know, to stand here, maybe put some targets on the end. Uh, I wouldn't mind getting some more modify actually. Just to help me maintain my weapons. Now I have three, so that's not going to happen straight away. Um, so that's fine. Let's. Whoa! Okay, that wasn't cool. That was not cool. Anyway, uh, we're done, so we're heading to deck five. So let's head back to the bulkhead, where we can move between areas and gear up for. The final deck of the bomb brawn at the very least. Oh. Okay, and is there anything I can do quickly to just hmm. any sort of preparations I need to do? Don't think so. Okay, let's head to deck five. Recreation. I wonder what the game has in store for us here. And we were up here previously, actually. Um, and we were told off to go back to deck four. And I think we ran into uh, Cortez, who was in engineering. And he was here and he greeted us here, I think a couple of videos ago. Okay, well, um, before we do any more exploring into deck five, let's have a look at the map. Primary elevator shaft, crew quarters. Okay, well, before we do anything else, let's save the game and finish up there. So, part 9, no, this, is, this is going to be part 10, rec deck, we'll save that, and we will finish up there, uh, just bear with me for a moment, so I want to thank you guys in advance for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing, I do this for the love, and any gestures of appreciation uh, mean a lot, hope you guys enjoyed the video, hope you guys enjoyed the playthrough of System Shock 2, as much as uh, I've been enjoying it, you know, I've come back from holidays and you no, know, this is one of the games that I always want to keep keep playing and, and, and you know, make it through and then possibly we can come back and have another look uh, with a number of mods. I've gotten some comments that, uh, and I've seen around that there are, there are, there are a number of mods which will uh, improve the game and make it, you know, bring it up to date. But uh, I really did want to do an initial playthrough, which was faithful to the uh, vision of the initial team. So anyway... <clears throat> Uh, thanks for watching guys. Hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll be back with some more System Shock 2 shortly and uh, until then I'll see you guys next time. This is No Dust signing off. See you next time.